up. Woo! <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Real opinions, no edits. This is the All Things Go Podcast. I'm E. I'm Kimberly Alexander. And we got the man here today, man. A lot of people love him. Seem like more people hate him. A lot of controversy. <laughs> he got a lot of things going on, man. Introduce yourself. What's up? Y'all know what it is. It's Tony Drake Khan. The lady you love to hate. I'm back here again. My favorite podcast. You know what I'm saying? Hey, hey man. You love to hate. <laughs> People want to know, what do you do? Let's start off with that. That's what I don't do. That's, I Basically, I just put it, I put people together. You know what I'm saying? I, I make situations happen that um, people can't make happen. So I'll be the plug and the middle man at the same time. Okay, all right. And what type of situations though? Like uh, Anything from street to corporate, it don't matter. Whatever needs to be handled is handled. So why do you think you get so much hate out here, man? Because people, if you're putting all these plays together, that'll mean you're putting people in positions to get money. So they should I ain't going to hate nobody who get me no bread, you feel me? So like, Because there's certain people that I don't have to suck dick or ride them to do things. Like, I don't have to go to none of, the, none of these industry niggas um, in Baltimore to make nothing happen. You know what I'm saying? If I want to throw an event, I don't have to go get H. Frank or Mo Stacks and them. I just throw an event. I throw my money, my own money. I don't need nobody. So when you don't need niggas, niggas feel a certain type of way when you start moving things around. That's, that's mostly it. You know what I'm saying? I feel you. And then niggas got, and then when you want to work with niggas, niggas got Hollywood attitudes. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know why y'all got attitudes like nobody knows you outside the DMV. So why you got an ego? I don't I don't understand that. So I don't do the Hollywood things. Like I'll reach out, you know, try to make some money, you give me the Hollywood attitude, yo, I'll I'll move on. I ain't got no problem with it. I'm gonna get the paper work regardless. That, that's the thing I don't get, yo, because if if we all out here to make money, I don't understand why somebody gonna have a Hollywood attitude when it's an opportunity there for us both. The game from because everybody wants to be king you know what i'm saying nobody wants to be kings everybody want to be the dominant person that's the same thing like back home that's why new york can't get hip-hop back because everybody wants to be that one king and if you notice like when new york it, ne it wasn't never a collective every time somebody come out they was the king of new york during that time from 50 to J to Pop Smoke, you know what I'm saying, down to Fabio. Down south, they work together. Mm -hmm. That's why they still hold the crown. That's true. You know what I'm saying? I they don't have no problem jumping on or putting each other. When they get on, they bring everybody on. You know what I mean? Nobody wants to do that here up, up north, and especially nobody here in Baltimore. They have a little thing, like I always said, is, is, is a little... Clicky? It's a click, it's a boys club. You know what I'm saying? And if you're not in their little club, they not gonna they not gonna fuck with you or they're gonna try to blackball you or they not they not gonna try to put you in a position. You know what I'm saying? Nobody the the thing is is like yo, the more people put in position, you become in a better position. Have they, they tried to blackball you? Who? Yeah. Huh. And it don't it don't work. Huh. I, I I do too much good for a motherfucker to say something and they'll talk and be feel like, nah, that's, I'm not, I'm not believing that. You know what I'm saying? And it just never happens. So, so being though you was on New York, what you say to people say you here because you can't go back to New York? Who? Oh, nobody say that. I just came from home. I'm, I'm just telling you what, <laughs> what niggas saying out here, bro. Yo, so you can't go back from, home. Shit, that's not true. I just okay. came from, I'm in New York. New York like three or four times a week, and I'm in the hood. Oh, that's a lie. I'm outside. All right. I'm outside. People say a lot of shit you post on Instagram be other people's videos and shit. You don't really be there. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, the only thing I do is just call me out on it. Every time somebody say something that's disagreeing with me, I always come, yo, prove it. Pull you mean up. You receipts? Yeah, I have receipts. If you don't believe in driving this show, tell me to come, come somewhere and I'll pull up. 
I got AMG right outside now. Niggas was like, yo, you don't got no bills. My shit parked right outside, all black. Just pull up. You don't think I got money? Let's go to the bank. Just pull up. But you, you, think you also said, I never said I was the richest man. Y'all did. Yeah. Because then y'all should train me to be away. But now you saying, but I do got the AMG outside. Y'all want to see it pull up. Hold on, like, let's cut. Let's go see. <laughs> <laughs> But no, because that, like, it'd it be a lot of things about you. I'm like, no, you cool dude. No, E, yo, that nigga be capping, bro, this, that. The jewelry. Everybody say the jewelry fake. Yo, well, I tag my jewelry. Okay. And the jewelry's yours. Let's see. Yay, Greg Yami, Mr. Flores. All right, bro. I just yeah, got to ask the questions the everybody want to hear. Yeah, nigga saying, yo, the jewelry fake. This nigga got $250,000 watches on. Yeah. Okay. And then they, they real. Yeah. All right, bro. Okay. Well, I mean, well, what, well, what, what I'm supposed to say? Niggas say they real. They say they real. But then, those that come to you and say that don't know nothing. They never been around me. They don't come around me. They don't come to no events. They don't do nothing. They, yo, they just talking. Because they don't know. Because clearly, I don't fuck with them. Hmm. And you don't fuck with nobody. What can you, only thing you can say is a soon, ex exactly, you because though, they don't know, I don't, yeah. it's a very small handful of people that I fuck with in this area, okay. you know what I'm saying, those people know, if you want to say something about a jeweler, I tag my jeweler, I shout my jeweler out on my show every week, you go to the store, they know me, excuse me, then a lot of people like, yo, you want to talk? You want to say stuff, but you don't, you don't know nobody. If you knew me, then you know my government. You know my mom. So Tony you know Drake, and that's not your real government name? No. Okay. That's Neither? like a stage Like name. Tony Noah? Yeah. My, real, my real name is Anthony. Okay. My son name is Drake Hahn. Okay. Mm. Okay. All right. So pretty much you know it sounds saying? like you're saying that they hate on you because your money longer. You know, well, my money ain't longer. I'm, I'm, I'm good. It's just in a position. I'm in a position where I don't fuck with a lot of niggas. I don't need them. Mm -hmm. So when you don't need them, yo, they get envious of that. They, they want you to ride their dick. They want you to, yo, I need you to do this. So can you handle this for me? Nah, I, I don't. Cause everything I do, yo, I'm gonna make it happen. It's plain and simple. Okay. I, I like the answers, bro. My man ain't he ain't away for nothing. Good. Answering the questions like, yeah, he good. Good, good. So, I, I always tell him like, yo, if y'all want to, if you want to talk, I give motherfuckers a chance. Even when I come on my IG, yo, you want to say something? Let's say something now. Put it out there. No one wants to comment. But when I'm around, everybody, everybody that say something about me, they say it to that person. That person comes right back and tell me. You know what I'm saying? They don't never, you can confront me, you can ask me. You ask me anything. I'm, I'm going to tell you. Okay. <laughs> Why are you looking like you sipping tea, yo? Cause it just I be am. <laughs> With the pinky finger, like. Cause I'm like, we got this guy. We got to ask these questions, man. Cause they ain't. Take names on it. Take names on it. Cause it can't be that, that many. Put the names on. Haters, like some of this shit gotta be, even be real true. Like, so everything people saying negative about you just a lie. They just yo, out here hating on you. It's that that hate Tony Drake and fucking gang out here. Like, yo, it's going to be haters, period. It's, it's going to be haters when you do shit. It's going to be haters. They say simple. you a scammer too. Do you be scamming? I never scammed a day in my life. You know that's popular in New York, though. Yeah, it is. I it's never just, scammed that's just a day. Not your day. I never scammed a day in my life. I just feel like if people scam, they should like give a little course for the people who don't know how to scam. <laughs> I never, I never, I never had to scam anybody. <laughs> like, I, that, I and that's, scared, a, that, that, that's the first I ever heard somebody say claim. that. Like, this the first for, you heard it. Yeah, scam, scam, I never scammed anybody. If anybody, if somebody said, "Yo, if somebody said y'all want y'all say I scammed y'all," let me know. But not necessarily like scamming an individual, like the credit card scam type situation. Like, like basically, you had like a, a you lied about an opportunity that you said was going to come through, and it ain't come through. Whereas though it was like a you knew it wasn't coming through, but you lied 
to get this person time and energy. No, I ain't hear that. Mm -mm. Oh, I hear. I so, ain't hear that. It's been a I situation where it, up in the same room, <laughs> yeah, like it was a guy a tattoo artist said you was gonna get him in a magazine and shit. He did some free tattoos for you and all that. The whole it was a magazine out L.A. The whole thing was a lie though. He said like Yo, you ain't never was, get in a magazine Mike, nothing like I, that. I know what you're talking about, Korean guy. I uh -huh. gave him the blueprint of what to do. He didn't follow the blueprint. I left it up to him of what he had to do. The door was open. Now, this is another situation. Opportunities come up. I put people onto opportunities. Once I give it to them, that's to them. If they fumble up the ball, that's not on me anymore. No, nah, bro, I, ain't, I can't let that one slide because the guy, he said he called the people out of L.A. to try to confirm was the situation even real. They said, I ain't never heard of this guy. Like, no, nah, like. We ain't got we ain't got nothing going on like that. We ain't heard um, of you neither. Yeah, I ain't never heard. I didn't hear that. I didn't hear that. But I did put. I put. I know what you're talking about. It's a young yeah. kid, Mike. I think his name Mike Anthony. Mark. Mark. Yeah, Mark Anthony. Came home. Um, off of shooting his shooting his best friend. Did three years. I put him in. I put him in the in the position to make it happen. Why and did you choose him? him? Why did you want to help him? Why did you want to put him in a position now? You know, or um, in that position. I think it was, I came across him, um, I think it was Bam. He did some work for, he did some artwork for Bam. And he was in a tattoo place and I knew the girl who owned that tattoo place. So that's how we had hooked up together. So basically you saying he fumbled the ball though. He, he didn't do fumbled. his part. He fumbled the ball. Mm. All right, bro, because he's saying I called out there to even try to verify it. They said we ain't never heard of no Tony Drake. And ain't no deal like that going down. This man lying to you. You supposed to got him in the magazine, all that. But he gave free merch, free tattoos. It's compensation for you doing that for him. I never got no merch from him. Okay, I'm just. You did get some t um, artwork, though? I got artwork from him. I never got no, no merch from him. All right. Have y'all talked about it since then? Yo, yeah, he came on the show. He came on my, my, my last show, the um, pregame show. Mm -hmm. Did a whole interview and everything. And I asked him, like, yo, did you reach out to such and such, such, such? He said, yeah. I said, how it's going? He said, yo, I'm waiting. I never heard back from him again. Then when I tried to reach out to him about another project, they never hit me back. So he ain't never come to you with, with this situation? No. Is this the first you're hearing about it? Yeah. Oh. oh, this this. But that's crazy. when when you when you said tattoo, that's who I knew exactly uh -huh. who who it was. All right, all right, that's fine. All right, bro. Because right. I'm yeah, like, yeah. Because I mean, he wanted to tell his own story then. Because this guy here is saying, "Yo, he put you in position. You ain't fall through with it. Follow through with it." So. So we bringing both of them back. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, it don't matter to me. We can. But I mean, this guy, he don't seem like he's lying, but you could be a good liar. Could be a good liar. What else somebody, what, what else somebody talking about? Even hard <laughs> it might be, it, it be a lot of shit, bro. Like, I ain't got this shit written down. Like, certain <laughs> DJs, like, your, they come to your event, and they don't get the, the proper bread they was promised and shit. Like, who? Cool. I don't know all the names, bro, because I'm, I'm not, really I'm not in the mix the mix like names? that, but... Huh? You really not know the name? I really don't. If I did, I don't, this all things go. Uh, it, hey, we we gonna do it. Yeah, you folks to know. You folks to know. Folks to know those names, yo. yo. But you don't have no bad blood with no DJs or no DJs. Yeah. I don't know. I no. No, you know what I do. I do. I I I got a problem with DJs right now. Like um. More than one. Yeah. Oh. Because yo, they now. Any DJ, I never had a DJ that came to that DJ my event that I owe money to. Not from here, because I don't even want hire no DJs from from here. Mm. If so you have an event here, but you won't hire a DJ from here. Mm, I don't like. I don't like the only DJs I like from here is, is L. Why you That's don't it. like the DJs from here? Shout to Big L. Um, and DJ Ashmo, of course. They, um, DJ Ashmo. <laughs> they um 
they just don't DJ like 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 L do. Um, well, shout out to DJ Cole. I like I like DJ Cole. Um, L was a different type of of DJ that DJs need to take like courses from. You know what I'm saying? Um, a lot of these DJs, they have so much music and they get so much music that they don't break music. They don't break records. You know what I'm saying? So it don't really have nothing to do with like, um, like you not paying them issue. It's just that you don't like the way they DJ. I don't like the way the way they DJ. But I, I, I don't, I can't recall any DJ I had from here that I done hired that I have not paid in an event. So what, what about DJ Duke? I haven't, Duke has never, Duke never. No, I'm saying, as far as the DJs, you say, only DJs I really rock with who really can DJ. I think DJ Duke, one of the top DJs, like, I mean, L, L is L too, but Duke is Duke, you feel me? Like, well, what makes, what makes Duke a, a top DJ to you? You just said breaking artists. He break artists. That's that's your criteria, right? Yeah. He don't be breaking artists. He one of the ones that look out for the artists the most. You ask me. Well, if you want to put him did. in a lane he against did. L, when we talking about breaking artists, Duke is the one. You're right. All right. So we we gonna talk about two di two different DJs. All right. When we talk about hiring DJs, I'll go with L. All right. If you want to talk about breaking artists. Duke does break artists. He does break artists and play a lot of artists records. He he probably the only DJ besides Ambition that plays the most local artists here and out of state. I, I will I will give him that. Other artists, I I've seen them play. I don't see them play that many local people so that's your problem with them though that they don't play that many artists yeah especially here in baltimore because with, with baltimore is that there's a lot of talent that needs to be played here and a lot of the djs are scared to break artists you know what i'm saying and if they do break the artists they um they try to break the artist's pockets to pay to, to pay to play them. Come on, come on now, bro. So if you saying you don't use the the, the uh, Baltimore DJs like that, you use DJs from other places. You expecting them to break Baltimore artists? Mm -hmm. DJs that's not even from Baltimore. Because I would think you just would want your event to be popping. Like I would have thought that's why you don't play them. Like oh yeah, they, you know. Well, you got you got two different DJs. You got DJs that you pay you pay to play music, and your crowd is already there. Mm -hmm. And then you got DJs that you pay that's going to bring a crowd to you. Yeah, that's true. You know what I'm saying? So, like I said, back to your original questions, I can't recollect any DJ I've hired for my event that didn't get paid. I, I can't believe it. I, I always pay the DJ. All right. Well, let's not let's not say they didn't get paid. They didn't get paid terms agreed agreed upon. Like you said, you was on pay him this amount, and you come with it. Man, if it ain't go high, when I had to throw money over here and all that, so you know I'm gonna have to give you this, you know. But I'm gonna look out for you next time, like some shit like that. You no. Know, okay. Cause of her her showcase. Which you got a new one coming up? We gonna talk about that. True. DJ True got paid. Um, he did both of those. My white party. DJ, no, my white my white birthday party. Let's see, Biddy, Biddy got paid, and he stayed over. He stayed. He was he was only for the DJ for hours, and he stayed over for two hours. Well, a lot of people wouldn't consider Biddy a real DJ. Like, yeah, I was confused for a minute. Like, Biddy, <laughs> <laughs> like, 
But he DJ. Uh, he do DJ. I mean, he do DJ, but I ain't no this the bitty, but I, yeah. It just threw me off because it's like you don't really like Baltimore DJs, but then you yeah. like use Biddy. Yeah, Biddy not really a DJ. Well, I, for 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 the occasion that I had uh -huh. that night, he fit. He 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 fit he fit that occasion. Okay, because Biddy can bring a crowd out. You yeah. know he a good time. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I wouldn't have thought that. And we and, and I lost out that night because it rained. So basically, you saying that's that's why somebody didn't get paid because you lost out. No, I'm no, just, no, 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 <laughs> no, nigga, I lost out that night that Diddy played. He still got paid. Okay. I, and I lost out that night. It, yo, Wait a minute, let me rain. call him real quick and see what yeah. you It's like, no, I'm just joking. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. I oh, look, he don't fuck with right. the Baltimore DJs. Okay. Right, but they getting paid, though. So, so far, mm -hmm. it's a lot of hate going on about this man. This man out here trying to make opportunities for y'all. And y'all The whip outside. The jewelry is real. Y'all niggas real. just hating. All of y'all. And shout out to C's Jewelers. Shout to them. Period. So what's up with all the the hot seat? Come on. No, no, we gon' we ain't gonna hot seat you the whole time. Tell us about your next event. Yeah, cause you got yeah. the Denise. Tell us about her, your next event. Her showcase coming up, man. So um, yeah, let's talk about that. And we gonna take a toast to that real quick to your next event. You, you ain't okay, got much so in there, but cool. Listen. <laughs> um, no, this is the second one, which um your podcast did the red carpet on the first one. Yeah, the old podcast. Yeah, uh, yeah, that ain't yeah. I'm kind of confused. I don't know which podcast or more. Yeah, this all things go. This is not that last one. We this, this new and improved. Yeah, it's something different. Help by the lights and the clock. Yeah, we ain't with them. It's like <laughs> it, it, it's been a split. It's been a split. Oh, it's, it's a, a split. split. Yes. Oh, because like your your, your other ones or whoever mm -hmm. asked my orders to be on 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 theirs. I didn't know what was going on because you oh. told when you told me what happened. I said, "Yo, can you talk about it?" Like, oh no, nigga, you and you definitely say, "No, nah, it's nothing to talk about." Then yeah. I see oh, so your yeah, logo, you and, and then I see somebody else say is all things. I'm like, "Oh, okay, things." Well, the old one was anything goes. Yeah, and this is all things go. Oh, okay. Yeah, oh. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. Different I words. Got you. I got you. I got you. All right. Different words, you. but same flow. Got you. Better All flow. Right. Better flow. So talk about the, the showcase you got coming up, man. Um, and it's the second one. It? It's the second <laughs> one. Her name is DJ per, um, Perdona. Where's she from? She's from D.C. Okay. Oh, so you fuck it's with a little closer. Um, you know, we got we got DJ Ashmo. You feel me? From Baltimore, you know, female DJ doing our thing. You know, um, he is is her one half, and then um, DJ Cole. I gotta see if she gonna do do the other half. She gotta check her. She gotta check her schedule. So where's the event, and when is it? It's at the War Memorial Building. Mm -hmm. It's May twentieth. Matter of fact, we got a whole month dedicated to moms. Um, the first, your moms, huh? You oh, moms, moms, oh, moms. Oh, yeah, okay. in, in May. So, um, the the first kickoff is the fashion statement, which is my um, my fashion coordinator who does all the um, runway things. She's having hers um, at the. Uh, Artillery House, I think that's how you pronounce it. It's on Charles Street. Um, then the following week is the Sneaker um, Kicks yeah, Cello. Yeah, and then after that will be the the Beats and Brunch. So the Kicks Cello is we going to raise up money again, and we're going to bless a mom for probably some bills and stuff to help her out. Um, for Mother's Day, either bills, me time, or spa, or something like that. Um, so we got a, a whole new slew of um, female artists um, coming this time, which is is a great a great thing. Is it too late for the uh, female artists to sign up? Like it's already no, locked in. No, no, it's not too late. Still accepting no, more female we, artists. We still accepting. We just, um, you know, what I'm saying, you go to the page, you click the. Um, Unlimited source dot com. You register, send your you send your song that you you wanna um, perform. We're gonna listen 
Um, we're gonna check out your page and everything and see. And it's not about, I'm gonna tell you like this, it's not about how many followers you got or anything. It's about like, yo, who's hot, you know what I'm saying? So I don't want to think like, yo, y'all that have like 5,000 less followers not going to have So y'all y'all judging off the actual music? Yeah. Talent. Okay. You All know right. what I'm saying? Because yeah. a lot of people from the last show, they, they didn't have a lot of, they didn't have a lot of followers, but they had. The last show great, was good too, bro. They I'm going to get that too. They, um, the last show was good. They had a good support system. So mm -hmm. a lot of artists uh, have low numbers. But they'll have a big support system. A lot of a lot of artists I've seen that got a lot of followers, they can't bring out a crowd. You know what I'm saying? So we we actually go on people that's like nice. And this time we really listen because, um, like I said, yo, I I just don't want to have a whole bunch of um, female artists in their rhyme and have a whole coochie war going on, like, just war. trying to have, like, straight bars. Uh, you can't do half and half? Because nothing's wrong with a coochie war, bro. I ain't gonna You're lie right. to you. Like, I never even yeah. thought about that, but it sounds like an idea yeah, to me. Yeah, but it's just like, oh, it's just like, yo, every song is... And, and the most popping fucking women, female know, artists I are coochie wars. This is what I'm saying. And, and it's kind of crazy because you don't want to hear about coochies in every song, but we still got the men that we still hear about a hundred bodies they kill oh, or five the bricks they done push and everything. How still, many bitches they done fuck. Yeah, we still see we still hear the same thing about that in each one of those songs. So a lot but of girls can't have coochies. Exactly, you know right. what I mean? But I, I, I just wanna I just wanna show the other side of females that like yo they really got bars because you got dudes that don't kill a whole bunch of niggas on records but they they got actual bars mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying so that with this one i, I just i really we really looking at the music and and, and the bars on it that's okay. what's up that's what's up so if people want to find you where can they find you at Oh, they could they Google. Oh, wait. Well, oh, and, and, What's your IG? Two more things. Go oh, ahead. Get, get the <laughs> Since we got a lot of questions, mm -hmm. it got to deal with Hulu. I got a documentary coming out. Mm -hmm. The Alpha David of Tony Dracon. Since y'all got so many questions and y'all got so many theories and a lot to say, we're going to talk about a lot of stuff. I'm gonna say a lot of stuff. Um, and I got a TV show that we're putting together. I don't know if you was talking about the girl for the TV show. I'm not doing a, um, this will be last year for the shop TV. Uh -huh. So we start recording for the TV show. It's a reality in show? In January, huh? It's a reality show? No, nah, it's, it's gonna be a straight straight talk show. Oh, okay. Straight talk show. So, Can you tell us the name of it? The Uncomfortable Truth. And mm -hmm. where's it being aired? Um, I got a warehouse up Town Road. No, what network? Huh? What network? Oh, Prime. Okay. Yeah, Prime. Prime, and I'm going to try to work out, um, is it 2B or 2B? 2B. 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 Yeah. 2B. Um, we, we, we trying to think not 2B because people saying that 2B is like real black ghettoish. I like TV. I mean, what's wrong with that? I like, I like, I, I, TV. I, I, I like and it's it. free. I like Ain't it. Ain't TV free, Jay? Yeah. I like TV. So, um... I'm black from the ghetto. Like, <laughs> right. Period. Like, <laughs> period. I'm like, if, if, and, and it'll be another platform. Though. What um, network is that being aired on? You said when is it being aired? Who, 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 oh, when yeah. is that being aired? Um, that should be out in 24. Um, 2024. Um, there's a lot of stuff I gotta I gotta air out because a lot of the things that's that we want to talk about um, and put in there that we can't we can't talk about. Why can't you? Because know um, we could talk about it right here, right now. <laughs> we, All um, things go podcast. Certain certain things and certain situations that um, we can't discuss in there. And there's a lot of other like legal things going on with other other surrounding um people so we gotta we gotta wait so um the stuff that i wanted to put in there 
I got to see if exactly I can and can get the green light on it. Um, but you can't tell us what some of those things are right now? No, nah, not right. Not right now. It's, Nigga, it's, do you know Leo? Yeah. Okay. He, he said he know Leo. Nigga said you don't know Leo, bro. Call him. <laughs> I don't know. That's a nigga you can just call. Why not? So you got your phone number? Oh shit! Call him then. Fuck it. Go ahead. Yeah. Call him. <laughs> no Leo. No Kevin Love. Matter of fact, um, Kevin's gonna be the first interview on this on this TV show. So like, um, Kevin Love. And that's being aired in January, right? Yeah, no, we start recording, recording in, in January. January. We're gonna start recording in January, and then we're gonna air um, the summertime. So, um, you sure? Because niggas gonna be on your ass, Kevin. I was saying on this show, bro. They gonna yeah. say you up. Um, so, um, we're doing, we're doing that, um, and that in, in, in the summertime. Filming a documentary now from here to Atlanta and, and back to New York. Um, mm. that's filming. So that'll be the twenty down to the twenty four, and um, that's that's most of what we what we're working on. What we're working on right now. All right, bro. So, okay. is is there anything else? To that. Is is there anything that. else you want to get out to the people, man? Before we wrap this up, man. We definitely appreciate you coming, having you, exactly. telling your truth, being up front, answering all the questions. Already, not <laughs> ducking nothing. <laughs> No, this yo, like I said, I um I appreciate y'all calling and coming out. I already knew it was the um the hot chair was gonna come. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I, I know how I know how he is. Um But yeah, like I said, yo, all y'all that gotta say something and, and wanna say something, I'm outside. I'm <laughs> everywhere. Yeah, I heard him. Huh? I'm outside. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I, and, and I'm at I'm at the events. Like so yo, you can pull up on me and ask me anything. You wanna do do anything, you can do that too. You know what I'm saying? But like I said, all this this gospel and, and running around, that's that's high school stuff. You know that that's crazy. Like I'm willing to work with anybody and, and get paper. And if you don't want to, then it's cool. Yo, there's more people that's out there to, that to work with. I ain't, I ain't got no problem with that. But all the talking, like next year, I, I'm not even focusing on on the hearsay shit. I, I hear so much hearsay that yo, we just we just be laughing about it because it's, it's crazy. But like I said, I appreciate yo y'all asking me to come on here again. Yo, you you my dude. So anytime you want to interview or do anything, uh, um. I respect you a lot. Already. Um and I hope this takes off with with no problems. Me, me, too, bro. <laughs> me too, bro. I hope this one takes off without, without no problem. Yo, without a hiccup in sight. Hopefully. You, you know what I'm saying? So yo, make sure y'all support support this um podcast. All it's things go time. podcast, man. You know what I'm saying? It's On that note. Great we signing out Tony Drake and the man, the myth, the legend, Hulu. To be big shit coming, man. Yeah. All right, we out. Peace.